Indian Science Congress Association is a premier scientific organisation of India with headquarters at Kolkata, West Bengal. The association started in the year 1914 in Kolkata and it meets annually in the first week of January. It has a membership of more than 30,000 scientists. Genesis. The Indian Science Congress Association owes its origin to the foresight and initiative of two British chemists, namely, Professor J. L. Simonson and Professor P. S. McMahon. It occurred to them that scientific research in India might be stimulated if an annual meeting of research workers somewhat on the lines of the British Association for the Advancement of Science could be arranged. Topic. Objectives The association was formed with the following objectives To advance and promote the cause of science in India To hold an annual congress at a suitable place in India To publish such proceedings, journals, transactions and other publications as may be considered desirable to secure and manage funds and endowments for the promotion of science including the rights of disposing of or selling all or any portion of the properties of the association to do and perform any or all other acts, matters and things as are conductive to, or incidental to, or necessary for, the above objects. Indian Science Congress Sessions Topic: First Congress. The first meeting of the Congress was held from 15 to 17 January 1914 at the premises of the Asiatic Society, Calcutta. Honorable Justice Sir Ashutosh Mukherjee, the then Vice Chancellor of the University of Calcutta, presided over the Congress. 105 scientists from different parts of India and abroad attended it. Altogether 35 papers under six different sections, namely botany, chemistry, ethnography, geology, physics and zoology were presented. <laughs> Silver Jubilee The Silver Jubilee session of the Science Congress was held at Calcutta in 1938 under the presidency of Lord Rutherford of Nelson but due to his sudden death, Sir James Hopwood Jeans took the chair. It was at this Jubilee session that the participation of foreign scientists in session of the Indian Science Congress was first initiated. 34th edition – Participation of Foreign Scientists The 34th Annual Session of the Indian Science Congress was held at Delhi in 3–8 January 1947 with Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, first Prime Minister of India, as General President. Pandit Nehru's personal interest in the Science Congress continued and there was hardly any session which he did not attend. He immensely enriched the activities of the Congress by his sustained interest in the development of scientific atmosphere in the country, particularly among young generations. From 1947, his program for inviting representatives from foreign societies and academies was included in the Science Congress. This trend still continues with the support of the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. topic golden jubilee the science congress celebrated its golden jubilee in october 1963 at delhi with professor d s katari as general president on this occasion two special publications were brought out a short history of the indian science congress association and 
50 Years of Science in India in 12 volumes, each volume containing reviews of particular branch of science. Topic: <laughs> Diamond Jubilee The Diamond Jubilee session of the Science Congress was held at Chandigarh in 3 to 9 January 1973 under the presidency of Dr. S. Bhagavantam. On this occasion two special publications were brought out. A decade 1963 to 72 Indian Science Congress Association with life sketches of general presidents and a decade 1963 to 72 of science in india in section wise topic 63rd edition introduction of focal theme The year 1976 witnessed a significant departure in the trend of deliberations during the Congress. It was being felt for some time that such a gathering of scientists, covering a wide spectrum, ought to be concerned with national issues that have scientific and technological implications. In 1976, Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, the then General President of ISCA introduced the focal theme of national relevance which is now discussed in every section, committee and forum during the annual session. These are part, several plenary sessions are organized around various facets of the focal theme in which scientists and technologists as well as policy makers and administrators interact with one another. ISCA thus became a platform where members from different disciplines and from different walks of life could contribute to discussions on the focal theme. 67th edition, setting up of a task force Another significant breakthrough was made in 1980 when the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, set up a permanent task force involving representatives of ISCA and chiefs of different agencies and voluntary organizations chaired by Secretary, DST, as being responsible for following up various recommendations on the focal theme. Every year follow-up actions on recommendations made in the previous Science Congress are discussed at a general session organized by DST during the Science Congress. Through this process, the Indian Science Congress Association has been contributing to the development of science in general and national science policy, in particular. Topic Platinum Jubilee The Indian Science Congress Association celebrated the 75th year of its inception, popularly called otherwise, Platinum Jubilee, in 1988, with Prof. C. N. R. Rao as General President. Keeping this in view, a special brochure, entitled Indian Science Congress Association Growth and Activities was published so as to highlight the programs of the association over the years. The main programs were Bringing out special publication on the occasion of the Platinum Jubilee Presentation of plaques to the General Presidents of the Association Establishment of Platinum Jubilee lectures to be organized in each section during the annual session of the Science Congress and Extension of the recent activities of the ISCA and its further diversification to generate scientific temper and popularize science. Topic 98th edition. The five-day-long session, from 3 to the 7th of January 2011, at the campus of SRM Institute of Science and Technology, Chennai, was inaugurated by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh on the 3rd of January 2011. The focal theme of this session was quality education and excellence in scientific research in Indian universities. The Prime Minister said. The Indian scientific community must apply its research findings and translate them into marketable products for the country to realize the true benefits of scientific progress. At the same time, he cautioned on a liberal 
Users of technology and cited use of nuclear weapons, applications of synthetic chemistry in agriculture and in poison gases and perverse use of genetics in Nazi Germany to drive home his point. Nobel laureates Amartya Sen, Venkatraman Ramakrishnan, Ada Yonath, Thomas A. Stites, Tim Hunt and Martin Chalfi delivered special lectures at the Congress. Venkata Ramakrishnan inaugurated the Parallel Children's Science Congress on Tuesday, 4 January 2011. Topic 99th edition. The five-day 99th edition of the ISCA, from 3 to the 7th of January 2012, was hosted by KIIT University and National Institute of Science Education and Research (NISER) in Bhubaneswar, Orissa. It saw the participation of more than 15,000 delegates, which included 500 foreign scientists and 20 Nobel laureates. It was inaugurated by the incumbent Prime Minister of India, Manmohan Singh. On its sidelines, the first Women's Science Congress was inaugurated by Nirupama Rao, India's ambassador to United States of America and the Children's Science Congress was inaugurated by the former President of India, APJ Abdul Kalam. <laughs> Centenary edition The 100th edition was hosted by the University of Calcutta which is in the city of Kolkata from 3 to 7 January 2013. The theme of the Centenary Congress was, Science for Shaping the Future of India. It was inaugurated by the former President of India Pranab Mukherjee in the presence of the former Prime Minister of India Dr. Manmohan Singh and the incumbent Chief Minister of West Bengal Mamotar Banerjee. Topic 101st edition The 101st edition of Indian Science Congress was held in Jammu starting from February 3, 2014 to February 8. Topic 102nd edition The 102nd edition of Indian Science Congress was held in Mumbai from January 3, 2015 to January 7, 2015. It was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Mumbai University. Studies and papers on ancient Indian Vedas were presented in this Congress. Accomplishments of ancient Indian science in the fields of medicine, mathematics, surgery etc. were presented. There was also a session on India's successful Mars Orbiter mission. Topic sections, committees and forums of ISCA From a modest beginning of only 105 members, ISCA has grown into a strong fraternity with more than 10,000 members as of 2012. Only 35 papers were presented at the first Congress, a number that has risen to nearly 1,000. In 2000, there were 16 sections, including agricultural science, anthropology and archaeology, biochemistry, biophysics and molecular biology, botany, chemistry, computer science, earth system science, engineering science, material science, mathematics, medical and veterinary sciences, physics, physiology, psychology and educational science, statistics, zoology, entomology and fisheries two committees, including Home Science and Science and Society, six forums, including Communication and Information Sciences, Environmental Science, Forensic Science, Science Education, Science for School Students and Women and Science. 
There are now 14 sections, including Agriculture and Forestry Sciences, Animal, Veterinary and Fishery Sciences, Anthropological and Behavioral Sciences including Archaeology and Psychology and Educational Sciences, Chemical Science, Earth System Science, Engineering Science, Environmental Science, Information and Communication Science and Technology including Computer Science, Material Science, Mathematical Science including statistics, medical science including physiology, new biology including biochemistry, biophysics and molecular biology, and biotechnology, physical science, plant science. Interaction with foreign scientific academies, associations After independence ISCA has been actively represented in various foreign scientific academies, associations, namely British Association for the Advancement of Science, American Association for the Advancement of Science, French Academy of Sciences, Bangladesh Academy of Sciences, Sri Lanka Association for the Advancement of Science, etc. with a view to have a first-hand knowledge on topics of mutual interest. Topic. Conflict within the Indian science system Corruption in India is a major problem and the science sector is no exception. ISCA has served as a platform to discuss the issues facing Indian scientists, with some calling for transparency, a meritocratic system, and an overhaul of the bureaucratic agencies that oversee science and technology. In her commentary on the centenary session of ISCA, Sumit Bajuri stated, T he challenges of turning Indian science into part of an innovation process are many. Many competent Indian scientists aspire to be ineffectual administrators due to administrative power and political patronage, rather than do the kind of science that makes a difference. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh spoke at the 99th Indian Science Congress and commented on the state of the sciences in India, after an advisory council informed him there were problems with the overall environment for innovation and creative work and a warlike approach was needed topic <inaudible> <inaudible> sessions of indian science congress 1 topic <inaudible> 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 see also kerala science congress <inaudible>